Having reached the peak of his YouTube career mired in controversy, the YouTuber dream provides endless fodder for discussion. While I've never had a huge interest in Minecraft content, I couldn't help but watch the trajectory of Dream's career from afar with morbid curiosity, especially after recent events made his story even stranger. The most fascinating thing about Dream's downward spiral is how it began. He's been the subject of controversy before. The moderator of speedrun.com alleged that he cheated on his Minecraft speedruns. He's been the subject of multiple allegations of inappropriate conduct with minors, and he's been accused of racism. Even his usage of racial slurs couldn't seem to take down this titan of the Minecraft community. That changed on October 2nd, 2022, when Dream released a video entitled Hi, I'm Dream, which was a face reveal. Weirdly enough, this is what marked the beginning of the end. It might seem odd that a face reveal would be such a big deal, but Dream had built a large online presence without anyone knowing what he looked like, and once he revealed his face, it seemed like the entire internet began mocking him for his appearance. Moist Critical captured it perfectly when he said, On Twitter, they were cooking Dream's cheeks for the better part of 12 hours. And that had me self-conscious like, oh my god, if they find him ugly, wait till they see me. They're gonna think I'm some kind of car accident victim that had butthole skin grafted to their face and fucking pube hair taped onto it. That shit had my self-esteem going right down the shitter. I felt like that SpongeBob, SpongeBob episode, like I'm ugly and I'm proud. Like it was, like that had an effect on me, my soul. Because I mean, the number one and two trends after the dream face reveal were he's ugly and Dream should have kept the mask on or something like that. I can't remember the second one, but he's ugly was the number one trend, all just shitting on Dream's face reveal. And it was brutal. They, they were going hog wild on him for it. The response to Dream's face reveal, along with the fallout, tanked a YouTube channel that had been garnering tens of millions of views per video. Today, we're talking about the story of how Dream ruined his career and his recent bizarre attempts at reviving it. Before we begin, remember to hit subscribe and click the bell for notifications. It would mean a lot as I put a lot of time and effort into researching these videos and it helps spread my content to a wider audience. I appreciate all the support. Now, let's begin. For those on familiar with Dream, he was a popular Minecraft YouTuber whose audience primarily consisted of children and young adults. For most of his career, he would avoid on-screen appearances, using a simple but recognizable avatar instead. He was one of the fastest growing YouTubers in the history of the platform, earning over 10 million subscribers in one calendar year. He explored Minecraft mysteries, would post Minecraft challenge speedruns, and ran a role-playing survival server called Dream SMP with a number of other popular content creators. Dream SMP, which he founded with an another Minecraft YouTuber named George Not Found was wildly successful. It contained regular appearances and cameos from some of the most popular content creators on the internet. Dream SMP was described by mainstream media as live theater, with millions of viewers tuning in to see how the plot would play out. But our story comes after Dream's face reveal. The day after Dream showed his face to the world, a Twitter user named Anastasia would allege that Dream groomed her when she was a minor. Her Twitter thread reads, Too tired slash real life struggling to get involved, but the YouTuber trending right now already face revealed to me two years ago when he was flirting with me when I was a minor through his personal snap, number, and Twitter. The shit you see is probably real of others with similar stories. Funny draft though. I just can't believe the shit I'm seeing about him talking to 13 slash 15 year olds plus the power imbalance of him having subscribers. Gross. I don't even want to look into it. Just screenshot the friendly profile he's gonna come see this deaf because we DM'd on here. Hi Clay. Maybe find a day job and a girl of a legal age. Anastasia would tweet again the next day with screenshots of her flirting with Dream while she was underage. Anastasia would eventually go private, but one Twitter user named Polly created a screen recording of the Twitter thread, which included proof that Dream had directly messaged and began flirting with Anastasia on Twitter when she was under the age of consent. Dream responded to these accusations on his private Twitter account, Dream Secret Fan Club, tweeting, Wake up to people making up disgusting false accusations for the millionth time. I'm going to enjoy my last couple days in LA and not let people try to ruin it. My heart goes out to actual victims who get questioned in their hardest moments because of stuff like this. Fuck you if you abuse concern around horrible real issues out of spite. It's sad to see the trend whenever there's something big going on for me or for friends of mine. People try to use those moments to spread negativity and lies. Hopefully everyone's day isn't ruined. This would only end up backfiring for Dream as his reaction sparked backlash and led to hashtag Dream as a freak trending on Twitter. People use this hashtag to discuss all of the allegations that have been made against him. Too 
months later following the controversy spurred by the allegations against him, Dream would try to bring back the hype around his channel by appearing in a video on the Mr. Beast channel on December 24, 2022 entitled, I Survived 50 Hours in Antarctica. That also backfired, illustrating that as a faceless creator, he had never learned how to be an entertaining on-camera personality, appearing stiff and robotic during the few instances he actually spoke throughout the video. In the following year on April 10th, Dream SMP would shut down. With so much going wrong for Dream, many people thought it was safe to assume that this was the end. That was until June 9th when Dream deleted his face reveal video from his channel and uploaded a video entitled Bye from Dream, where he announced in the description, I will slowly be deleting all pictures of me online and going back to just being a gamer in a mask. Starting with my Mr. Beast video and my face reveal video, Hi, I'm Dream. I will be walking it back. I will be getting rid of everything other than my new mask, the same company that made the Spider-Man mask, Batman mask, and many other superheroes made me a mask so that I can be Dream all of the time. Hide my identity, even at public, at McDonald's, or any other place I need to go. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart to those that supported me, even though I am ugly. I appreciate you all more than you could ever know, and I will be working on my face while I'm masked again. As the like to dislike ratio on the video shows, it was not received very well at all. His fans were angry at him for trying to take back something that can never be taken back and for guilt tripping them by calling himself ugly. On top of that, his haters mocked him for caving to hate on the internet, despite being a 23-year-old millionaire who, despite likely never returning to his former levels of success on the platform, is essentially set for life. Things took an even more bizarre turn from here though. Dream was dead set on trying to erase his face reveal from history and he repeatedly tried to prove that he was committed to pretending the face reveal never occurred. He wore the designer mask he had made for him in public and in his own social media, he was spotted at a basketball game, wearing the mask and even uploaded a TikTok of him wearing the mask while shopping at Walmart. That led to commentators mocking him even further, tweeting, my face attracted too much attention, wears giant mask inside Walmart, and stop looking at me, says man wearing freakish mask in public. Many people thought that this was all entirely sincere, speculating that the hate that Dream had received for showing his face publicly had affected him so much that he decided he would never show his face again. But in reality, it was very apparent that this was part of a marketing ploy in order to generate controversy and revitalize his channel, which right now only sees a small fraction of the traffic that it had in the previous year. This desperate ploy for attention would become completely transparent when Dream released the video Dream Face Reveal on his second channel on June 17, 2023. In this video, Dream recreates his Hi, I'm Dream Face Reveal video from October of the previous year, but with crucial changes. Before he can lower his mask and reveal his face, two people in hoodies and Dream masks rush into the room. One of them holds rope and grabs his gamer chair, while the other one puts chloroform over Dream's face and knocks him out before they pull him out of the room and put the gamer chair back in its original position. It's hard to say what all of this alludes to, but my best guess is that this is Dream attempting to create an ARG, which stands for Alternative Reality Game. There are a few different definitions out there for ARGs, but Wikipedia's is good enough. They define an ARG as being characterized by the fact it uses the real world as a platform and employs transmedia storytelling to deliver a story that may be altered by a player's ideas or actions. It's easy to tell that Dream didn't plan this out originally. These two videos weren't shot at the same time. The camera angle and length of Dream's fingernails are completely different in both videos. It's clear that the second video is a last minute attempt to pretend his initial face reveal never happened. This video, just like his buy from Dream video, also generated a large backlash. The most liked comment on the video says, Dream, your face reveal was a canon event. You cannot undo this. Personally, I can understand why Dream is doing all of these things regardless of how corny he comes across while doing it. At the end of the day, YouTube is a business and outrage and controversy are some of the easiest and most reliable ways to get more eyes on your content. However, I can't help but feel disappointed as this follows a pattern of behavior that I've witnessed throughout his career that shows his irresponsibility with his massive platform and the millions of children that watch his content. On May 20th, 2021, when Dream released the music video for his song Mask, one scene from the music video in particular caught the attention of the public and led to rigorous discussion online, specifically the scene where after going to the doctor's office and getting a doctor's note that tells him he isn't normal, Dream would take his normal pills and toss them in the trash. While I don't believe a creator is wholly responsible for the behaviors of their audience, I think it becomes more and more important the younger your audience members are to ensure you aren't influencing them in ways that would hurt them, especially as many of those audience members may look up to you as a role model. While I'm thankful that Dream did eventually say it wasn't a good idea to depict getting diagnosed with a mental health condition as the doctor saying you aren't normal and throwing out psychiatric medication, he's now engaged 
engaging in the same pattern of behavior with his attempt to undo his face reveal from two years ago. What message does it impart to Dream's young audience that instead of standing up against internet bullying after his face reveal, he decided to attempt to purge all photos of himself from the internet, called himself ugly, and tried to elicit sympathy from his audience, all while creating an elaborate backstory to retcon his face reveal in the first place. Instead of using the platform he built by bringing joy and entertainment to children to inspire them, he's teaching them not to stand up for themselves or love themselves for who they are. And if there's any truth to the grooming allegations, is he even safe to have such a young audience in the first place? Or is this just the beginning of watching his entire life collapse like a house of cards? Thank you all so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think of Dream, the controversy surrounding him, and what you think of his attempt at a comeback. So please leave a comment to let me know what you think. The content on this channel would not be possible without the generous support of my patrons at patreon.com slash kefbles. Consider becoming a patron today for cool bonuses like early access to content on the channel. I'd like to give a very special thanks to my $200 patrons, Marking14, Lulu, Allison, and Mia. Thank you all so much for the support. As well, a shout out to my $30 patrons, Catherine Sorrenti, Nell Blahaj, Scarlett, John Nathan, David Jones, Riley Fox, Ethan White, Chris, Radia, Cryptid, and Tipster. Thank you all so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.